Ladies, let's be real, criticism and insults happen, but the way you handle them? That's where your true power lies. Today, we're diving into how to handle those moments with absolute class and confidence. So, if you're tired of letting negative comments get under your skin, stick around, because I'm about to show you how to transform criticism into pure elegance. Hey Radiant Rebels, welcome back. We all know that dealing with criticism, whether it's subtle shade or outright insults, can be super frustrating. But the secret to standing out as a high-value woman isn't in reacting emotionally, it's in how you respond with emotional intelligence. Staying calm and collected, no matter what, not only elevates your elegance but also keeps you in control of the situation. Emotional intelligence, or EQ, is all about managing your emotions in a way that helps you rise above negativity. Today, we're going to talk about practical strategies you can use to handle criticism with poise, grace, and a level head. Trust me, by the end of this, you'll feel equipped to handle anything life, or anyone, throws your way, without losing your cool. Ready to level up your response game? Let's get into it! Understand the mind games behind criticism. Radiant Rebels, one of the first things to realize about criticism is that it often has more to do with the person criticizing than it does with you. When people throw shade or make snarky comments, it's usually their insecurities talking. They're trying to shake your confidence or challenge your elegance because it makes them feel better. It's not about what you did wrong, it's about how they feel inside. Critics use words to manipulate power dynamics. They target what they think will make you question yourself, but here's the truth, the problem isn't you, it's them. When you become aware of this, you stop taking things personally, which is one of the key aspects of emotional intelligence. EQ Principle – Self-Awareness Realizing that criticism often reflects the critics' insecurities frees you from letting their negativity affect your mood. Example, imagine someone tells you, you look tired today. An emotionally intelligent response would be to recognize that their comment might come from their own issues, maybe they feel insecure about their appearance or need to bring others down to lift themselves up. Instead of getting defensive, you can neutralize the situation with grace. A simple response like, I'm feeling great, thanks for asking, shows that you're unbothered and still in control. By understanding the real motives behind criticism, you take back your power. It's about recognizing that your confidence isn't up for negotiation, no matter what anyone says. If you're loving these tips and want to keep leveling up your emotional intelligence, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Share this video with anyone who could use a little extra poise when dealing with negativity. You'll be helping them step into their own power and become the most radiant version of themselves. Stay empowered, radiant rebels. Disarm with logic. Radiant Rebels, when someone throws shade or criticizes you, it's easy to feel defensive or hurt. But instead of letting their words rattle you, one of the most powerful things you can do is respond with calm, logical reasoning. When you choose to counter criticism with facts and clarity, you take control of the situation and disarm your critic without even breaking a sweat. Think of this as your Tony Stark moment, calm, collected, and always 10 steps ahead. By addressing criticism logically, you remove the emotional sting and shift the focus back to what really matters, the facts. This approach doesn't just keep you composed, it forces the other person to explain themselves, often revealing the weakness in their argument. 
EQ principle, emotional regulation. Staying calm under pressure is what sets emotionally intelligent people apart. It's about keeping your cool when others try to push your buttons. Example, say a colleague tells you, your ideas don't make sense. Instead of feeling defensive or doubting yourself, calmly ask, can you explain what specifically doesn't seem clear to you? I'd like to understand your perspective. You've immediately shifted the conversation from an emotional attack to a constructive dialogue. Not only does this show emotional intelligence, but it also puts you in control of the interaction. By using logic, you dismantle baseless comments and avoid being drawn into petty arguments. You stay in charge, confident, and unshakable. Respond with assertiveness. Radiant Rebels, one of the most empowering ways to handle criticism or insults is by responding assertively. It's about standing firm in who you are without letting emotions get the best of you. Assertiveness isn't about being aggressive or confrontational. It's about calmly setting boundaries while protecting your self-respect. When you assert yourself, you maintain both your elegance and your dignity. Being assertive allows you to communicate clearly that certain behavior is unacceptable, all while keeping your poise. This approach not only protects your peace, but also commands respect from others. It's a powerful reminder that you deserve to be treated with decency, no matter the situation. EQ Principle Assertiveness Standing firm without losing your cool shows high emotional intelligence and ensures that you're respected, even in difficult conversations. Example, imagine someone says, you always think you're better than others. Instead of reacting defensively, you can calmly respond with something like, I'm confident in who I am, and I respect myself. I'd prefer we keep the conversation respectful. This response makes it clear that you're not engaging with the negativity, but you're also setting a clear boundary. You maintain control of the situation without compromising your grace. By asserting yourself in this way, you protect your inner peace while also demanding respect from those around you. It's about showing that while you're composed, you're not someone who will allow others to cross your boundaries. The Elegance of Silence Radiant rebels never underestimate the power of silence. Sometimes, the most graceful response to criticism or insults is no response at all. Silence speaks volumes and can often be more powerful than any words. It's a nonverbal way of showing that the criticism doesn't affect you, and it sends a clear message, you're too confident and composed to be rattled by negativity. Nonverbal communication, like your body language, facial expressions, and even the way you carry yourself, can convey emotional superiority. By remaining silent, you show that the situation isn't worth your energy or emotions. It's a subtle, yet powerful move that keeps you in control without escalating the tension. EQ Principle – Self-Regulation and Social Awareness Knowing when silence speaks louder than words shows high emotional intelligence, allowing you to maintain your grace in even the trickiest situations. Example, let's say someone makes an inappropriate joke at your expense in front of a group. Instead of rushing to respond, you simply hold their gaze with a calm, neutral expression. Don't smile, don't react, just let the silence linger. Your composed body language shows that their comment didn't shake you, and you won't stoop to their level. This quiet confidence communicates that you're in control and above engaging in petty exchanges. Silence, when used effectively, 
can completely shift the dynamics in your favor. It demonstrates that you don't need to explain yourself or react because your self-worth isn't tied to anyone else's opinion. This is the ultimate display of emotional intelligence and elegance. 5. The Power of Indifference Radiant Rebels, one of the most powerful tools in your emotional intelligence arsenal is indifference. Sometimes, the most elegant way to respond to criticism or insults is simply by not responding at all. It may sound counterintuitive, but ignoring unnecessary negativity shows that you're on a different level, one where petty remarks don't even deserve your attention. Indifference is a reflection of emotional maturity. It shows that you're focused on what truly matters in your life, not on trivial comments from people who don't know or understand you. By choosing not to engage, you're protecting your energy and prioritizing your peace. You send a clear message that their attempt to hurt you is irrelevant to your confidence and self-worth. EQ Principle Emotional Detachment Valuing your inner peace over conflict keeps you centered and allows you to move through life with grace and strength. Example, imagine this, you're at an event or even scrolling through social media, and a stranger makes a rude comment like, you don't belong here. Someone without emotional intelligence might get defensive or feel the need to prove themselves. But those with emotional maturity know better. You recognize that their words are designed to provoke, so instead of reacting, you simply ignore the comment and move on. Your silence shows that their opinion is insignificant and unworthy of your time. This quiet indifference is the ultimate power move. It reflects that your confidence is unshaken and you value your mental peace far more than any confrontation. By not giving attention to negativity, you show true emotional intelligence and stay in control of your own narrative. By applying these techniques, you'll not only maintain your confidence but also your composure, no matter how challenging the situation. Emotional intelligence allows you to handle negativity in a way that elevates your elegance and strengthens your inner power. Remember, elegance isn't just about how you look, it's about how you navigate adversity with poise, resilience, and strength. You have the tools to rise above any criticism or insult while keeping your head high and your spirit unshaken.